What if you could enhance your TV viewing experience by simply adding a device next to your television? Of course, we're talking about a soundbar. Today, we're checking out the Samsung Q990C soundbar setup. So let's quickly get into it. Now the variant we are checking out is 656 watts, but it starts at 360 watts. So you can pick and choose your variant as per your requirements. And the price for the one we are checking out is somewhere in the one like 20,000 rupee range, but you can save some money and get it for around 110 if you look around and find some deals and offers. Now this is an 11.1.4 channel soundbar, which has a total of 22 speakers, which is kind of crazy. The main soundbar itself has 15 speakers, out of which nine are front firing speakers, which include a total of six forward firing speakers and three center speakers. The soundbar also has two side firing speakers and two corner speakers and two up firing speakers. So basically every angle in your room is covered. You also have two satellite speakers, which also have a 4.2 channel setup with one front, one side, and one up firing speaker on each satellite. The subwoofer also is an eight inch subwoofer with a flared port. Now this all is wireless. So your satellites, your subwoofer, everything connects to the soundbar wirelessly. So there is no need for pesky cables running through your living room. The soundbar has a few connectivity options. You can of course connect via HDMI, which also is EARC. But there's also HDMI pass-through, so you can have a total of two HDMI inputs, and there's a one HDMI output that you can connect to a display, like a television. You also have an optical in, uh, which is great for those who do have certain analog devices that you would like to connect to the soundbar. You can also connect wirelessly via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth if your devices support any of those protocols, and the Bluetooth codec is SBC. If you do have a Samsung television, you can also get wireless Dolby surround sound without needing an HDMI cable. So you can basically connect over Wi-Fi with the Samsung television and you can get wireless surround sound audio capabilities. So that removes one additional cable from your setup. So if you do have a TV pre-installed, but don't have a way to connect the soundbar to your TV, then this feature comes in really handy because you can have the soundbar placed somewhere else at the bottom. So if your TV is on the wall, you can have the soundbar at the bottom without needing an HDMI cable. If you're using a Samsung television, you can also get a one remote function. So you can use a single remote to manage both the soundbar as well as the television. The soundbar also has controls on the top, so you can access quick settings directly from the top of the soundbar using these controls. And on the front of the soundbar is a tiny display that will allow you to change between modes and adjust settings on the soundbar without needing a full-size screen. The soundbar also has a feature called Q Symphony, which works well with Samsung televisions. So you can have the TV play the sound directly from the TV or from the soundbar, or you can sync up both of them together. So you can also use the TV's built-in speakers to add to the overall audio. So you'll have the soundbar playing and you'll also have audio coming in from the television. Q Symphony also analyzes the scene that is playing on the display. So if you have a movie playing, it'll automatically analyze the scene and it'll direct sound in the area that it needs to go to. So it automatically corrects for sound. And in cases where Dolby surround is not hard coded, you'll get a better sound environment with using Q Symphony. There are also features like adaptive sound, which automatically adjust the sound in content that you're watching. So if the sound is too low, it'll automatically enhance the audio so that the levels are more or less equalized. The soundbar really manages the surround sound well and can isolate and send sounds directly on the basis of what is playing on the screen. So whether the sound is behind you or on top of you, the soundbar will automatically adjust the audio in the room and send those sounds in those directions, which is pretty cool. There's also an active voice amplifier. So if there's some sounds around you in your house, in your environment, it'll automatically enhance the volume of the soundbar uh, to compensate for that. And if the sound lasts for over three seconds, it will increase the dialogue volume to get you better dialogue in your content, which works well if you're watching movies and you don't want to be disturbed by surrounding sounds. There's also a game mode which automatically detects when you connect a gaming console or any kind of gaming equipment to your television and it'll automatically turn on the game mode giving you the best possible sound including surround sound for your gaming experience. So if you're playing first person shooters or driving games 
you'll get that immersive surround sound capability. The soundbar also supports sound sharing. So if you have NFC in your phone, you can tap your phone onto the soundbar to get your sound transferred from your phone directly into the soundbar. And it also supports AirPlay too. So any AirPlay devices will work perfectly with this. And you can cast your movies, your music directly to this via AirPlay too. You also have built-in Alexa. So if you are in that Alexa ecosystem, you can use that directly on the soundbar. The soundbar also has a SmartThings hub built in. So you can use this as a hub to control other SmartThings devices that you may have in and around your house. The soundbar has a fantastic look and impressive sound overall. The surround sound capabilities, thanks to the satellite speakers, are really impressive. And overall, we are really impressed with the audio capability. The wireless connectivity is definitely a big add-on. And it also has interesting features like a night mode, which automatically reduces the bass level so that people around you don't get disturbed. These features, along with the surround sound capability of the overall 22 speakers, make this a really impressive device and will add a whole lot of audio experience to your home theater setup. We'll have links to the product in the description below if you guys are interested. If you enjoy the video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.